Miss Adipti, please read question number 101 and talk about it. So work from home, work from traditional offices. Yeah. You have to choose one among these two and talk in favor of it. And during the 10-minute open discussion, you can again try to substantiate your point and also try to give opposing views for the other option. Okay? Okay, sir. Please talk. Good, e uh, good evening, sir. Uh, in, in the point of view, I prefer work from home, sir. Because due to new trends in technology, work from home creates hybrid models. Hmm. Uh, by that... Uh, Hybrid model of uh, working environment, sir. Uh, by that, uh, employers can work some days at home and some days they go to offices in a week, sir. By that, they work, uh, uh, they balance their work life, sir, work and also their personal life, sir. And I mean, uh, they can balance their professional life and their personal life, sir. And Another advantage of work from home is, uh, I mean, remote uh, working is we can choose uh, flexibility working work timing, sir. We can fix uh, our work timing as per our flexibility, sir. And so that we can manage any need uh, we have. And, and also, we uh, due to Due to advan advancements in the technology, we mm. have some collaborate collaboration tools uh, by that uh, people can collaborate with their team members and uh, and attend meetings wherever they located. They can meet their uh, team team and talk with them yeah. and collaborate with them and uh, make. Mm. Um, Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Now, um, Abhishek, you have come just now. Please tell me, talk to me about work from home or work from office. Which one do you prefer and why? Abhishek. Abhishek. Uh, hello. Am I audible? Yeah. Yeah, you are audible. Please speak. Are you seeing the question yeah. on the screen now? Uh, yes, sir. You are seeing the question? Question number, what is the question number? One or one, sir. No, I am asking one. Abhishek. Abhishek, so very good. Now, please speak, Abhishek. Uh, I'll uh, rather prefer work from office over work from home because it will uh, lend a very big opportunity to interact with a lot of people uh, and have a uh, have a uh, have a very good interaction uh, with different types of people and can we can learn a lot from that. So, I I personally prefer uh, work from office rather than work from home. Very good. Now let me show you um, some. Not this one. Um, one minute. I must show you something else. Yeah. Mr. Abhishek, can you read from this? Are you seeing on the screen now? Uh, yes. Different Please pros read. and cons of work. Different pros and cons of working from home by yourself. Yeah, please read. Many professionals. Many professionals prefers, prefer to work from home for a variety of reasons. Remote work can increase your independence and productivity, help you save money on food or commuting expenses, and allow you to wear less formal attire. Learning the pros and cons of working from home can help you decide if remote work is best for you. In this article, we discuss why it's important to know the pros and cons of working from home 
and outline the advantages and uh, so can you scroll it down a bit please advantages and disadvantages of this way of working please read uh, learning about the pros and cons of remote working is the first step towards oh sorry it has gone yes sir oh yeah it has gone one minute 91 in india oh it uh, we have to give that code and all that just a minute Yeah, yeah. Oh ho, oh. it's it's giving trouble for us. Instead, we can use this one. You please read this one, uh, Abhishek. Read this one. The choice between work from home. Yeah. Okay, uh, cho the choice between working from home and working in an office has its pros and cons. Work from home. Uh, the first point, uh, flexibility. You can often set your own hours and create a comfortable work environment. Uh, second point, commute savings. No travel time means more time for personal activities. Focus. Uh, some people find they can concentrate better without office distractions. Work from office. Collaboration. In-person interactions can foster teamwork and brainstorm. Structured environment. Some find that being in an office helps maintain a work-life boundary. Networking. Easier to build relationships and connect with colleagues. Ultimately, the best choice depends on the individual preferences, job requirements, and company culture. What's your preference? That's right. Yeah, that's good. That will do. So, and I suggest you also search in Google uh, from your end. And if you come across some more points, you can go through them also. Good. Very good. Now, let me, okay. any, any points you would like to say, Deepthi? No, sir. No. It's okay. Fine. Now, we will take up question number. After 101, we will go to 101. 11 is not a question given by the Federal Bank that was prepared by me. Um, take 112. Abhishek, please read question number 112 and speak on that. Measures you suggest on the part of government and public to eradicate child labor fully. So, your views. views, yeah. Yeah, yeah so please. my views. Uh, so, uh, making uh, making the parents aware about uh, the educate uh, about education would be the primary step that I would take in order to uh, eradicate child labor completely. Uh, the second thing that I would suggest is to uh, make the uh, education more and more feasible. Even though it's feasible in most of the rural areas right now. I think it should be uh, implemented on a larger scale so that a, even a person without zero income can afford education. Uh, Anything else? Uh, uh, making the pa parents more, a bit more aware on this topic, uh, the hazards the children can come across during uh, their labor can also be a... a step forward in eradicating child labor. Super. Good. Now we will go to Deepthi. Deepthi, please tell me. Yes, sir. So, uh, in my point of view, we have to make parents aware about the all the policies followed by the government uh -huh. to eradicate the child labor, sir. Government is providing uh, and many uh, acts and many programs to children to uh, to make children come to schools and 
concentrate on their education and mainly child labor is encouraged by the parents for the financial support to the parents and nowadays um, um, in in the year of 2009 government started com- free and compulsory education for the children and also started the mid day meal program thereby they are they are getting the food in the schools and uh, and in some states like uh, andhra uh, andhra pradesh um, government is giving some 15000 rupees to the, all the children who are going to the schools so by that they can get financial support and and we also have some uh, acts like uh, child labor prohibition act in 1982 and it was uh, uh, and it was also uh, had some modifications in the 2016 uh, year and we have also mining act 1990, 1952 and in that act section 45 tells about the azadias uh, uh, restrictions of the children to work in the azadias places and mining and we have to make aware all these acts and the policies so that they they allow their children to the to study to study sir thank you sir. yeah but you did not tell clearly about the uh, concessions given by state government for children going to school i think there are some special incentive for women sorry girl yeah. children going to colleges and all please get to know that sir, you can speak about it sir uh, actually in andhra pradesh uh, last uh, previous government uh, given ammavadi what scheme sir by that all the children from uh, what first class to 10th class they will get 15000 rupees sir to their mother second every year and uh, every women candidate uh, not no women candidate like sir but uh, we have fees the embracements like uh, um, vidya divana vidya um, uh, vasati divana like schemes they run they started giving sir but in this government they are, all these schemes are uh, they, uh, i mean they removed all these schemes sir but i think they will introduce some other schemes soon as it is no scheme oh. has come na uh, yes sir but they said they will continue these schemes but they haven't started the uh, what enforcing them yeah mm-hmm. very good correct i can follow it now are you seeing the screen now uh, yes sir measures please read this eradicating child labor eradicating child labor in india requires a multi faceted faceted approach involving both government incentives and public participation here are some key measures uh, here rolled uh, one strengthening strengthening mm. uh, strengthening law laws and enforcement enforcing existing laws like child labor prohibition act amend prohibition amendment act ensures strict penal penalties for violations increase inspections in industries known for employing child labor such as agriculture construction and textile education accessibility provide free quality education and incentive attendance through programs like hello hello pronounce properly incentivize uh, incentivize attend attendance through programs like mid day meals and scholarships awareness campaign no no implement flexible uh, implement flexible schooling hours for working children to facilitate their education awareness campaign awareness campaign launch national campaign to educate parents about the importance of education and the legal ramification of employing children use media and community outreach to change societal attitudes towards child labor skill development develop. program mm. introduce introduce occasional training for old, for old children 
older children and youth to provide them with alternative livelihood partner with ngos and industries to create apprenticeship and skill development in initiatives social protection schemes expand social welfare programs that provide financial support to low income families reducing the economic necessity of child labor implement direct ca- cash transfers to so families families okay, families families condition on school attendance public measures community engagement encourage local mm. community to take responsibility for monitoring and reporting instances of child labor one minute foster to foster, foster community based or foster mm. community based organizations that advocate for children's rights and provide support to families mm. consumer Cons- awareness mm. consumer awareness promote ethical consumption by encouraging consumers to buy from companies that adhere to child labor free practices that adhere adhere means follow mm, continue adhere. support local businesses support local businesses that provide fair working conditions for adults volunteering okay. and support program yeah i don't know why i am not able to get it i think one minute hold on i think i should copy like this on a white paper because it is not coming properly to read sir right. yeah, you should log in sir oh ho oh. it has come now correctly i will take you to this one i some mistake i am doing i know i am i have been doing this for years but still i am not comfortable now it has come it has come fully um, this one volunteering support programs next mobilize volunteers please read mobilize vol- volunteering hmm. volunteers to tutor children who are out of school helping them catch up on education support local ngos that work towards we have to play we rehabilitating child labor no 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 hello hello deepthi rehabilitating rehabilitating child labor and child labor and reintegrating them to into reintegrating them into school hmm. please Advo- read advocacy advocacy and partnership collaborate with civil society organizations to advocate for policy changes and greater government accountability hmm. engage with businesses to adopt corporate uh, social responsibility practices that focus on eradicating child labor hmm. conclusion eradicating child labor in india is a complex challenge that requires cooperation between government community and individuals by implementing these measures fostering a culture that uh, value education and holding violators accountable india can move towards a future where every child has the opportunity to learn and grow without the burden of labor good excellent i am just copying this and giving in whose whose page is this uh, 98187 Nine eight one eight seven. Whose number? I think Abhishek. Abhishek, I have given you. No, no, no. Ah, uh, that is oh, deep tea, na? That is ah. no, deep tea. Nine eight one eight seven. Whose? अच्छा अच्छा इट्स अफ़्फ़ोर्ड टू योर नंबर. No. अच्छा अच्छा sorry sorry sorry. I have given it to somebody. Doesn't matter. Let them have it. Seven zero nine three. Nine. Yeah, I know, I know. I got it. I am giving you. I am giving for Abhishek nine five. Yeah, nine five six. Ah, uh, I am giving you. I am giving it to you now. Good. You both of you did very well. 
even before reading this content, you were able to communicate well. That is really good. Huh? Now we have done 101, then 112. One minute. Because I should put this video, then 101, 112. Now, next, one more topic. Uh, Abhishek, because you won't be able to come again, that is the reason. Mm, you are a computer science student, no? Yes, sir. Please go through question number 118. Uh, it's not visible. It's not visible? Oh. Page. Sorry. Please read 118. Evolution of the payment structure and how it is likely to affect India within the next five years. Um, sir, uh, I am not able to understand the whole question. <laughs> I gave you this because you are MCA student. That is why I gave you. Uh, what about our uh, Deepthi? Can you understand something from this? Yes, sir. I prepared. I prepared. Achha, you are prepared for this topic. Great. Yes. I am happy. I am happy. Please, um, one minute. I will make it a separate one. Yes, sir. 